Hey guys, Fred here. The following clips are from Elders Rising, episode 9. And hope you enjoy. Um, yeah, 4 Nephi, 38 and 39. But um, they in 38 it says how they willfully rebelled against the gospel and taught their kids to do the same. Okay. And I Where put it, it in um, 4 Nephi, yeah. I, and then in, in 39 it talks about teaching your kids to hate others. But I put in parentheses critical race theory. Because that's what it's teaching. Mm -hmm. It's teaching our kids to hate each other for who they are. To try to teach whites that they were better than blacks, and now they try to teach blacks that they're better than whites. And it doesn't matter. We're all pink and red inside. We're all children of God. All yeah. men are created equal. Yeah. Read it. It's beautiful. 38 and 39. Yeah. And and when, when he reads this, think of the, the ways that the politics are... Not just politics, but society, the movies, especially the movies that are coming out, and the the things that are acceptable on Twitter, the things that like think think of those in relation to what he's going to read right now. They try to divide us for their own benefit and their own power, not yours. Yeah. Thirty eight, and it came to pass that they who rejected the gospel were call, were called Lamanites and Lemuelites and Ishmaelites, and they did not dwindle in unbelief, but they did willfully rebel against the gospel of Christ. And they did teach their children that they should not believe even as their fathers from the beginning did dwindle. 39. And it came to pass of the wickedness and abomination of their fathers, even as it was in the beginning. And they were taught to hate the children of God, even as the Lamanites were taught to hate the children of Nephi from the beginning. Regardless of who you are, there are people that are trying to teach your children and their children to hate each other right now and if you if you don't see that you're lucky but not really it's a terrible way to say that <laughs> your um if you don't see that then it's it's only going to take a little bit of exposure yeah that you're just they're they're, they're they're then you're not exposed you're not exposing yourself to what's going on there, there was, there's, there's so much going on right now where I, I was listening to a guy that was talking and he was a, I was listening to this communist talk and there was a debate between this communist and this um, capitalist and I was listening to it last night and um, this was several years old but he was talking about, the, he was an old man, this communist, he was talking about he was in college and all of the teachers were scared to teach communism. Because they were too afraid of the repercussions, and he said, "There's so much truth there." And he was he was he spoke with so much conviction about communism, and it was disgusting. It was disgusting to listen to, and he was talking about he was he was twisting history, and he was saying, "Oh, you know, in history there was this, and in history there was this," and giving he he was giving, again, I I don't know, f history is always a subjective matter. It's his story. It's in the name. History is determined by the victor. That's that's there's that is true. And it's also you got to be very careful, like always be always have a healthy skepticism for any historic reference. Just es like with especially when it comes to ancient history, because we know that in ancient history, as empires or conquering armies would come through, they would destroy the history of the civilization before they would put out the eyes, cut off the fingers and the tongues of the scribes to erase it so that their truth became the truth. Yeah. And that's the thing about, like, in war, again, more of a tangent, but in, in, in war, you always need to provide your armies with moral justification. A lot of the, a lot of the, teaching of critical i guess it's not a tangent because a lot of the teaching of like critical race theory and giving this idea of um, changing they've changed the term racism to no longer referring to judging someone by their color but instead to refer Ideology. to no no to refer to someone who is in a uh, racism is only exercised by those in authority of power and over those who don't have power and and you can't be in power if you're a minority or if you're within the minority of a organization or if you're not represented with an organization so you can't be racist and so that i mean that's that's the logic and they're they're teaching this they're teaching these these ideas and these half-truths and half-truths 
so that they can give a moral authority in in a conflict because every every people wants to be doing what's right that because mm-hmm. naturally we want to do what's right well m- most people if you, if you're going to go invade someone very few populations are game to just invade another population just because they want the land again thanks for watching elders rising episode nine um Hey buddy, if you like, subscribe and share and have a great day. Rock the party, everybody. Regardless of what Mitch says, rock the party.